Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Elevate your Bluehost hosting experience in 2023 by linking your Namecheap domain. This tutorial will show you how to integrate your domain in Namecheap to your Bluehost hosting, ensuring a seamless connection. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So obviously guys, the first thing is to head up to namesheep.com slash domains or by going to namesheep.com and clicking on domains right through here. After that, the page will be opened for you. The next thing is just picking a name for you. You can either choose this beast mode, which will provide you with like um, as an example for a name. For example, here I'm going to write football and then as you can see we can give like multiple names and here you can give a price in range so here we go uh, 50 dollar and yeah we can append prefix suffix no and then generate so etd requires select all and then here we go so these are some names that we can we can get through football now the prices are actually going to be expensive so as you can know like football is very very f famous uh, sport so getting a domain name with football can pretty much be impossible uh, you can't really find football.com which is so obvious football.net as well but yeah you can find some kind of pretty decent uh, domain names that can fit your football necessities so here we are all the numbers has been refreshed and as you can see most of them are ask, asking me to give an offer or to make an offer since most of them are actually being taken by others so we only have this football actor one we can try it out no problem let me just remove uh, some stuff from my cart and there we have it so now let me just click on it add to cart and there we go go to the checkout page and here we are so let me remove the unwanted stuff for example this one and here it is the price so let's start by going through all of these first of all in the bottom which is the most important thing is you will be able to find some suggestions as domain names as premium domain names that you can get for a high price of money there is football fans for $650, it's pretty much good domain. And let's try to check if the web page is actually working. Yep, it is not working, so we can actually take it. There is web hosting, if you want to have web hosting for your domain. There's business email, there's WordPress hosting, SSL certificate, VPN, premium DNS, social media manager, and review manager. You can get these as add-ons at the top of the price of your website so you can make your website more secure more workful and more uh, have more features in general uh, but for now we're just going to skip them I don't really want them and here we have some details about our website which you have guys to put uh, your focus with first thing is this price that you have in front of you which is $12 is only for the first year so after that you'll have to pay around $37 now, in case you are only going to use this domain for a short period of time, let's say six months to seven months, eight months, nothing more than one year, I highly recommend you guys to choose one year, which is you obviously did it, and close this auto renew. Why you should do that? Because sometimes you will use the, the, this domain for seven months and then you will just forget about it. And then, after the year finished and ends, you will be charged 37 dollars in your bank account you will not know where did this money went and you are not even using this domain so it's going to be a waste of money in general so guys at this point let's just confirm the order and there we go so here is the most important part which is simply the payment method here you have to pick which payment method you would like to go for there is mainly three payments method in your Namecheap account. There is the payments method that we always do, which is by credit card, etc. So you just have to put your name on card, the card number, and the month year CVC code. Or you can go for the PayPal one, as you can see here. Or you can go for the account funds. Yup, 
Namecheap got account funds, you can just uh, like uh, get some funds inside of your account that will be uh, made as balance and this balance you can use it as much as you want and it's gonna be saved in your account so you don't have to every time spend some money and uh, like go to secure card payments and put your card information in pay you can simply just have like a hundred dollars saved in your account whenever you want to spend it you can spend it the other benefit of having account funds is that you can buy funds using cryptocurrency so you can buy funds using bitcoin bitcoin cash ethereum and more as you can see right in front of you so this is a very important thing to have in mind now for now this is it here you have to put your billing addresses and just like that you can do this if you want but i'm not really going to renew the settings for my purchase so for that being said just click on continue and then you will receive a receipt in your email or your inbox you will receive a receipt with the amount of product you have bought and details and just click on the link in the bottom and then you will activate your purchase after that go to your dashboard and there you will find your own uh, domain that you have bought so let me just show you real quick here it is, it is loading. It's gonna take some time since Namesheet is a very popular platform, many people are using it. But yeah, here it is. So here are all the recent active uh, things that I have in my account. So this is the domain name, titanity.online. This is the product and the expiration date, as you can see right in front of you. Now, how can you connect this domain to any hosting or anything? It's pretty much easy, guys. Don't make it complicated, it's very easy. So the first thing obviously is by going to Bluehost, there we go, click on Bluehost, um, let me just click here, and we need to get a hosting of course in Bluehost, so you can just simply go here and choose whatever hosting you feel like you want to get. So there's multiple hostings that start from $5 a month to $30 to $90 a month. So here, if you were just going to get started, you can go for this one, which is $5 a month. There is this one, which is 30 and there is this one, which is 90 Well, then after you click on this one, you can just le learn more about it and get it started, etc. There's also the basic one, which is only for one website. So it depends on how many websites you have in general and how much space you want, etc. Now for that, you only need, for example, this one. So select it and then go and get it for free. The next thing that you have to do is to go to your hosting after you buy it, after you do everything. You just have to click into your dashboard and then go connect domain. In that section, you will find two things, records DNS and name servers. These two are two methods to connect your domain. Let me just go to my domain here, dashboard, and then click on manage right here. So here we go. And here you will find the details about your domain. So as you can see, here are the name servers, and here you'll find custom DNS. So you'll find the name servers in Bluehost hosting, and the next thing to do is to simply copy the name servers that you own there. Yeah, it can be two, it can be one, it can be more than one, it can be more than three. Paste them all here, so start adding them one by one, and you can start by adding them and click on save. Or you can simply just head up to advanced DNS, and through that page, what you'll have to do is to add records. There will be four records in general. There will be two C names records and two AP records. The AP records are going to be either A records, which are the four, uh, IPv4. So you will have an IP with four, uh, with four numbers, not four numbers, but four points. And there is the AAAA record, which is APV6. So you will have six uh, IPs. Or let me just show you APV4. So here it is, this is an IPv4, and IPv6, uh, here it is. So it's going to be like more numbers than IPv4 in general, uh, or more slots in general. And yeah guys, this is how you can simply connect your domain name in Namecheap into your Bluehost hosting. It wasn't that complicated, and yeah, thank you guys a lot for watching, and see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.